going to be looking at uh, replacing the struts on a uh, boot lid of the SLK 350. Relatively easy job to do. We've all seen this. You lift the trunk and it comes slamming down. The only time it will stay up is when it's fully up. And then if the wind blows, it will come slamming down. Didn't worry too much about it when it hit my wife on it. But when it hit me, I decided to see if we something about it. This is what we're going to be replacing. There's one on each side of the trunk lid. Pretty much the same in every vehicle that's got this type of strut. We're going to use a little screwdriver to just poke in the uh, slot behind the spring clips. There's one on the top, one on the bottom. Mind they don't hit you in the face. And it might be worth putting a uh, piece of wood into the trunk to uh, hold the lid up whilst you remove these because there's nothing else holding them up. It is suggested that you remove the rubber tops for the trunk lid. I didn't find it of much benefit. The trunk lid does go up a little bit higher, but it still wasn't enough to get ruts in. I use this clamp in order to compress the strut. These can be put on, the new ones can be put on with the the strut is probably about half an inch longer than it appears that is needed. Just compress the strut until it lines up and gently, gently just snap it into place. Goes on very easily. Once you've got the strut in place and you've uh, removed the clamp, just give it a, a wiggle, a little bit of a twist, just to make sure that it's properly seated. And then essentially your job's done. Simple as that. Move on to the other side and it's exactly the same process. The screwdriver, the spring clips, pull them, and then uh, push the new one back on using the clamp and here we go you'll see now that you can lower your trunk lid halfway all the way and it's not going to come down and slam you on the head it almost lifts on its own but not quite like and subscribe to my videos and I'll add a few more appreciate your subscriptions